Hello, my name is Kevin Gibbs with Born Winner Basketball, and in this video, you're going to learn how to make any basketball team. <clears throat> this is a Born Winner Basketball tryout tips, because um, after countless conversations with players and parents, I come to realize that most players don't know why they get cut from a basketball team, or they don't know why they don't make a basketball team, but more importantly, they don't know how. That's what I'm trying to provide for you, right? I can't always provide for you the why. I mean, you could ask the coach, but I could try to provide for you the how. How to make a basketball team, right? How to put yourself in a position where you get picked, right? I don't know about playing time and things like that, but at least that you could stand out amongst the competition and you get picked for the team. And uh, if you get picked for the team, then you got a chance, right? We got to take it step by step. But like I said, that um, I'm trying to provide for you the how because I see... So many kids be disappointed every year because they don't know how. They think that if they get the ball and they shoot every time, if they score a lot of points, then um, they should have made the team. They say, well, I scored more points this person. How come he made the team and I didn't, right? So you got to know what the coaches is looking for, right? So I'm going to give you five tips, give you five tips that will almost guarantee that you make any basketball team, right? If you utilize these tips, train at these tips, and also still work on your game, right? It's not like a, a magic formula or anything like that but these are proven tips and techniques that will <clears throat> increase your chances dramatically of making a basketball team and um if you keep training at this then it will increase your chances of making any basketball team and that's on any level right so um the first thing i want to say is prepare in the off season right there's three seasons in basketball off season preseason and season the end season right so prepare in the off season after the last year if you made the basketball team then prepare. If you didn't make the basketball team, then you should be preparing. The second that you don't make the basketball team, you should be preparing to make the basketball team for the next year, right? Don't wait till a, a few weeks before the tryout to say you're going to go. Basically, you're setting yourself up for failure. That means that you want to fail, and um, honestly speaking, you don't even deserve to be on the basketball team because you didn't put in no work. So you don't deserve to be on the basketball team. So you just want to be on there, but you don't deserve to be on there, and chances are you're not going to make it, right? Well, that's number one. Number two, and these are in no particular order, I would say be vocal. Be a vocal leader. Let your voice be heard, right? And you should always be echoing um, the things that the coaches are saying, right? Anything the coaches praising other players for, anything that they're saying is good, then you should be echoing that. Not nothing negative, like, oh, why are you going to pass me the ball? You don't play defense and things like that. That's a surefire way to get you cut, right? So you want to be able to be a vocal, um, being a coach on the court, <clears throat> and, um, you know, Encouraging people, right? Encouraging people, right? Basically, um, that's what you want to do. Right? You want to bring a positive spirit to the team, right? Um, number three, I would say that... Uh, one second. Number three is ask the coach what they're looking for. I think that's very crucial, right? Before tryouts, go to the coach's office and say, Coach, what are you looking for this season? Right? Because I want to provide it for you. Coach say, well, I need rebounding. Then be a rebounder. Whatever the coach needs you to be, be what the coach needs you to be so you can get on the team, right? You're playing a game. This is a game. This is a strategic attack. Most people are just going out there freestyle. I'm trying to give you a formula, a strategic attack to stand out. Once you, if you stand out, you have a better chance. If you're on the coach's mind and it's about good things, chances are he's going to put you on the team. If he doesn't know you exist, if you're not standing out, then you know you could be a good player, but you're just not going to get seen, right? You're not going to get seen, so... Ask the coach, coach, what are you looking for this season, right? What, 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 what kind of team are you going to have this season? What kind, what kind of system are you going to run? Hello, my name is Kevin Gibbs, and I just want to introduce myself. I'm going to be trying out this year, and I want to know what you're looking for this year because I want to help you win some games. I suppose, hey, no, no, I'm looking for this, right? And you've been preparing, you've been running, you've been working out, you've been um, focusing on skill development. You prepared, right? You just put yourself on the spot. It's just like a job interview. You just put yourself on a job interview. All right? Um, number four is understand your game, right? I put understand your game because don't go out there trying to prove something, trying to be somebody that you're not. Stick to your strengths, play your strengths, and hide your weaknesses, right? Don't go out there trying to, like, play a game that you're not used to playing because then you're going to make yourself look foolish. The key thing is to get on the team. Then once you get on the team, then, you know, you still work to get minutes, but at the same time, get on the team, then let the coach help you with your weaknesses. Say, coach, man, I'm willing to do this, but I need help with this. 
I'm pretty sure any coach that's trying to win, any coach that's trying to win, they will help you, right? If they're trying to win, right? And if you come to them, ask them, they will help you, right? And number five, I say do the dirty work. Set screens, uh, take charges, die for loose balls. I mean, a lot. I mean, I'm just going to say 90, 95 cent people don't want to do that. So right then and there, you're going to stand out from, 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 from 90, 95% of the people that's there just by doing the dirty work. Set screens, get people open. So you, you're being vocal. You're doing all these things that the coaches love. So I could guarantee that if you do those things, you'll have coaches drooling over you. And if you could play basketball halfway, they'll definitely be drooling over you, right? So that's your formula right there. That's five tips that you could use to make any basketball team. I don't care what level you want. If you're in college level, high school level, middle school, it's your first time trying out for AAU, take these tips and, and practice them on a daily basis. I guarantee that you will have success. Guarantee you. So there you go. They were born winner basketball. Um, tryout tips. How to make any basketball team. If you like anything I said in this video, if you think that it was um, educational, enlightening in any way, shape, form, or fashion, please like, share, subscribe. Um, go to my Instagram channel at um, kevin.gibbs.bornwinner. Um, we got videos up there also. Um, also, you could go to bornwinnerbasketball.com. You could check out all the latest news, tips, and facts that we have for you to um, help elevate your game. And also, you could purchase for $10 smart basketball training, how to become an unstoppable basketball player. You can click in the description below to find out more information. And I'm Kevin Gibbs from Born Winner Basketball, and I'll see you next time.